Hi everyone, my name is Jelmer and I'm one of the co-founders at Solar Capitals. So I'd like to take you on a small journey to a place far, far away from here. It's a place called Australia. So Australia, such as some of you might know, is probably one of the most sunny places in the world. But interestingly, only one out of seven has rooftop solar. So let's take a look at this picture. This picture shows the random suburb just outside of Sydney. And as you can see, quite a few people already have solar. But what you can also see is that there's still a significant opportunity. And this is a thing, because today, the existing industry struggles to reach these people. And to explain you why, I'd like to show you the adoption curve of an innovation. So this is where the Netherlands did. The Netherlands is clearly an early adopter market. And an early adopter is someone who actively searches for new products and services. So as a company, you can be very much reactive and sit back. And this is where Australia sits. Australia is entering, is on the verge of entering a new market segment. It's the early majority. And the early majority is different from an early adopter because they won't actively search for new products and services. So as a company, you need to become very much proactive, and today the industry is still very much reactive. And I can tell you one thing, that a proactive sales approach works, because I've been in the industry, and I started a company before, Sankra, this is me. And with Sankra, we use a proactive sales approach, and we've been pretty successful in bringing solar to this next generation of customers, but we also found that it's very hard to scale this model, because of the lack of software, and because of the large amount of manual work still involved in selling solar. It's pretty expensive. And this is what made me decide to start a new company, Solar Capitals. And Solar Capitals focuses on bringing solar to the masses. And I hear you think, because we've seen companies before trying to bring solar to the masses. Some of them struggled because they were too early. So we saw Sun Edison in the US going under. We saw Solar City struggling, but then Tesla came in. And we saw one of the biggest brands in solar, Sungevity. They went bankrupt just a few months ago. But then, their European department got acquired by Engie, one of the biggest energy companies in the world, for the same reason as Tesla, because they know that the masses are coming and they want to be ready for it. So what is the main problem here? The main problem has always been customer acquisition costs, and this will remain a problem. Because if you look at the total price of residential solar, Still 20 to 25% of the total cost is related to customer acquisition costs. That's quite a lot. And that's exactly the reason why we with Solar Capitals want to lower these customer acquisition costs in residential solar. And the way we're going to do it is by targeting the right customers. We identify the right customers by predicting who's most likely to buy. So we use big data on one side, we combine it with machine learning, and this allows us to predict who's more likely to buy. Because we know that one of the best predictors in knowing who's gonna buy solar next is knowing whether their neighbors did it first. And many studies all over the world keep on proving this specific point. And in order to do this, we use state-of-the-art computer vision to automatically detect all buildings with rooftop solar from publicly available satellite imagery. But then, we also automatically calculate every roof solar potential by overlaying LiDAR data with historical weather data. And now, let me introduce you to the Solar Capitals platform. It is a predictive sales platform that on one side connects homeowners with solar providers on the other side. And at the core of our platform sits our prediction engine. So on one side, we aggregate customer demand by providing free and instant solar profiles and with these solar profiles, we can provide the right customer a personalized product offer from the right solar provider. But then, because we allow you to easily share with friends and family the neighborhood, we allow you to unlock group discounts by leveraging the collective purchasing power in local communities. But then, because we qualify these leads with data, and because we do local lead aggregation, we can generate very high value leads. And this is exactly the way how we're going to streamline the marketing and sales for solar providers so they can focus on the right customers. But on top of this, with our platform, we want to unlock new sales channels. We want to connect existing customer bases from trusted brands to identify the right customers. So think of energy retailers, home renovation companies such as IKEA, banks for financing products, 
or telecommunication companies and car manufacturers, because such as Rick said, there's a lot of electric vehicles going to be sold. The market for solar lead generation is going to be huge in the coming four years. With nearly 80 million leads, this market is valued at 4 billion euros. And Australia is going to be one of the most promising markets of them all. And this is exactly the reason why we're going to start off in Australia. So the way our business model works, we provide free solar profiles to homeowners. And we charge solar providers an average fee per every lead that we generate. And with an average fee of 30 euros, we have an estimated revenue potential of 144 million in Australia alone. So what have we achieved over the past 150 days at Rockstar? We raised our first round of investment. We signed an R&D partnership with one of the best universities in this specific domain, the University of Maribor from Slovenia. And we've proven the first part of our predictive software with a major Dutch utility. But then, we started building our platform, we started doing our lead generation, and we actually sold our first leads. And we did it with a team of only four people. So we got Thijs, who's our software engineer. We got Nico, who's a PhD at the University of Maribor. And then we got Peter, who's my co-founder, and he's a very experienced software engineer with over 18 years of experience. And I bring experience as an entrepreneur in the solar space, and I've sold over more than 1.3 megawatts of residential solar in just a few months. So the investment we're currently looking for is 450K. We will use this investment to complete our platform and to launch in Australia first. Because Australia is the most mature market, the biggest opportunity, and this is where the industry needs us the most. But following from Australia, we will move forward and go back to Europe. And this is where we will launch the most mature markets in Europe, such as the UK and Germany. This makes us the first predictive sales platform for solar in Australia and Europe. And we've seen some activity, some similar activity happening in the US. And I just want to share with you that both platforms have raised significant investments already. So I know that you're interested in us and we'd love to speak to you. Thank you.